நம்ம எங்கே போக போகிறேன் நம்ம இங்கே தனியாக நின்றுட்டுருக்கேன் சுற்றி சத்தம் As they talk more about the haunted place, a ghostly apparition materializes behind them. It looks to be in the shape of a person wearing robes from head to toe, and when it moves out of sight, the ghost hunter looks over his shoulder where it would have been. I think this could be his paranormal sixth sense kicking in to keep him safe, but this could also simply be the way his flashlight plays against the stone wall behind him. Although it's weird that it takes such a human-like shape, tell me what explanation you think is true. A YouTuber named Blake Smith's Gaming Blitz lives alone and often hears wearing sobs in his basement. He says that he is way too strapped for cash to afford a Bluetooth speaker and that this is real. Take a listen for yourself. At 57 seconds into the video, the spirit seems to respond to his voice. Hello? Hello? He pokes around the corner, and sitting in the far corner of the room is a tiny entity made of light that kind of resembles a small child. I took a screenshot to better illustrate what I'm saying. The shape looks roughly symmetrical, and the head is looking directly at the camera. When your child is communicating with ghosts, you should listen. Posted to TikTok by PG Stories, this toddler seems to be communicating with the other side. The boy says goodnight to someone in the bathroom. When his mom goes to check it out, there's no one there. Who are you saying goodnight to? Mom. Goodnight. Who? Goodnight. Trevor, there's no one up there. Who's up there? Show me. Who's up there? He seems to be pointing to the vent. Is someone hiding up there? Is there a phantom in the vent? Or is it just the kid's wild imagination? I feel like this video left us with more questions than answers. Although this haunted mansion has long been abandoned, its heart is still beating. Published by Lewis Clark in October of 2021, a group of paranormal explorers came across something incredibly chilling in this haunted home. On the door outside, black handprints are pasted with a trace of what I hope is ketchup down the middle. After entering the home, Lewis shows viewers where he found a lifeless body in a fridge the last time he entered. He says the fridge has now been removed. This is where I found the dead body, right there, in a fridge. The fridge is no longer here. It's right there. That's where the fridge was. In the darkness, Lewis plays a trick on his cameraman, but they soon find there's no need for tricks because this place is legit haunted. When they look more closely at the objects inside these canisters, they realize the chilling truth of what they are. What is that? What is that? No. Getting a closer look, the organs appear to be hearts floating in red liquid. Although Lewis admits that they likely aren't human, how do we know for sure? I hope this team got a hold of the authorities just in case. Australian YouTuber Sam Marsh is exploring far north Queensland when something odd crawls out of the forest to better observe him. Down the dirt road stands a tall creature roughly the same height as Sam. 53 seconds is when you can see a prominent head jutting forth as the creature inches back into the forest from whence it came. Sam walks to where it was and finds a well-worn path leading deeper into the dark forest. Looking back at him is the carefully concealed figure with a long neck and a white head. At 1 minute and 48 seconds it turns back to look at him. What is it? This home security video shows two bright orbs hovering over some bikes in Carolina Beecher's front yard. She watches in silent amazement as the lights remain fixed in place, close to where you would grab the handlebars. The only explanation I have besides spirits is perhaps a dual reflection of the car's brake lights. That still doesn't explain how they float all around though, while the car lights remain stationary. 
At times the lights even seem to join together and become one. Sound in the absence of sight can be seriously alarming. This video shows just how frightening it can feel to hear something you cannot see. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Camilla Rose 529 the Redditor explains that she and a friend were cleaning a house when they heard this incredible mayhem outside. Yeah, what was that? <laughs> it's freaking me out. They went out to see what was causing all the ruckus. The sound fills up all airspace outside. Though garbled, it sounds a bit like a jet flying overhead. A moment later, however, this terrifying roar blows your eardrums out. Maybe not a jet, perhaps a literal monster. Yeah. What was that? It's freaking me out. Camilla writes, We called the police and they were unable to give us any information about what was going on around us and never went back to that house again. Redditor Paranormal Psychic notes in the comments, There have been multiple eerie sounds coming seemingly from either the woods or the sky itself, usually music, horns, or even screaming. First time I've ever heard growling. Is this a growl? If not, what is it? It certainly doesn't sound human. A YouTube channel called Abandoned Explorer heads to an old house that is so eerie, it's best to go by day. I hear a strange noise in this video at 5 minutes and 40 seconds. Is this a creepy sigh? So yes, yes, this is like some sort of living room area. They are in the center of the house, so I don't think that it can be the wind. Anyway, they continue exploring until one of them yells for assistance. Perhaps they've made contact with someone on the other side. But as it turns out, they've only made contact with the other side of the floor and now dangle helplessly. They do show the same hole earlier at 6 minutes and 12 seconds though, so this might have been staged. I can tell because this distinctive yellow area is seen in both shots. Bernie DMJ1 is deleting security cam videos off his ring app when he sees something really bizarre walk across his driveway. Or rather, it's what he doesn't see. The presence of a reflection, but the lack of a body to cause it. A shadow passes in front of the car and yet no one can be seen. He says this is a ghost or a shadow figure sighting for certain, but I'd like to offer a non-paranormal explanation. Maybe this is the shadow of someone across the street. A man is in a Mexican graveyard at 1.28 in the morning to see if a local legend about a crying girl is true. He has been waiting around for a while and is about to leave when suddenly he hears someone sobbing and sees a girl kneeling in the distance. He calls out to see if she is okay. Amiga! Niña! I think it's strange that he would go to the graveyard all by himself, but then again, he probably didn't think anything would really happen, or maybe he couldn't find anyone brave enough to go with him. Either way, if he had more witnesses or a better camera, then I would be more inclined to believe this video was legit. <laughs> Watch the left side of your screen for something creepy. A large figure is bouncing up and down at the side of the road trying to get their attention. What they see when they drive past leaves them creeped out for life. This screenshot taken at exactly 7 seconds shows a weird fish-like head turning one oversized eye towards the camera for a closer look. I was thinking this could be like a company mascot or something, but they aren't standing in front of a business and they aren't holding a sign. Has this car full of friends caught an authentic unknown creature sighting on camera like they claim? I wish they would have driven back around for another look, but I can understand them not wanting to risk it. If you've ever entered the grounds of an asylum at night, or any purportedly haunted territory, 
then you know why YouTubers, the proper people too, were feeling when they encountered this in the woods. Published in December of 2016, the footage shows the pair driving down a creepy dirt road surrounded by trees, with only their high beams to guide them. They're heading to an abandoned asylum to explore it at the scariest time of day. Once they get inside, it's clear that they weren't the first to explore this haunted place. There's tons of graffiti on the walls and remnants of past visitors. While they're exploring, one of the guys says he hears rustling. Then at one point when they film out the window, he claims to see someone standing in the trees. Although the person isn't clearly captured on camera, they decide to get a move on after that. But before they get in the car to leave, one of them sees a light. He calls out hello to no response. They agree it's too sketchy, being that whoever was out there wasn't responding. There's no other car here. He was around this side. That was 100%. That was person. a person. But he had a phone. Why is there a person here? The person could be laying in wait to rob them, so they jump in the vehicle to get the heck out of Dodge. Viewers gave their hot take on the video in the comments section. Viserys offered up some good advice, saying that if you're exploring a place like this and you discover that someone else is there, get out as soon as possible, making as little noise as possible. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Sallow Mac and originally published to YouTube by Bike Jin in March of 2020, this paranormal investigator may have just crossed paths with something very nefarious. While exploring an abandoned house, the investigator spies this creepy witchy woman in the hallway. Flames suddenly spark, running down the length of the hallway and flying up into the air in the adjacent room. It then falls in a giant place to the floor, burning in a ball on the carpet. For a time, the investigator watches the flames burn. It burns low, but then it bursts again, while the door behind it swings closed and then opens repeatedly. Is this a jinn's doing? Or maybe a witch's? Either way, Hey, get the heck out of there. Ghost hunting YouTube channel in Russia called Dark Ghost Paranormal says they've caught real video evidence of poltergeist activity on camera while exploring an abandoned house that's haunted. After leaving cameras upstairs to record video evidence, Dark Ghost Paranormal goes exploring in the basement to investigate. For any poltergeist activity, the entrance to the basement has been boarded up like somebody really didn't want anyone to get in, or maybe they were trying to prevent something from getting out. Something paranormal. He gets a creepy feeling down here. The basement looks completely demolished, stuff thrown everywhere, and so he goes back upstairs. Exploring the haunted basement must have set something free because it isn't long before the poltergeist is coming to investigate these ghost hunters. Something scary happens behind him. The voice of a little ghost girl comes from a dresser, one that just so happens to be a child's height and is no doubt possessed by the ghost of one. The ghost hunter examines the area for a little bit, and just when he's about to wrap up the paranormal investigation, the scary poltergeist activity picks up again. <laughs> This angle gives us a better look at how close the dresser is to the wall, way too close for someone to have been hiding behind it. The heavy object is moving by itself, or from a ghost to be more precise, and so he leaves the abandoned house to further rot. A woman feels sorry for her cat because it recently lost its best friend. She begins recording a Snapchat after she notices her cat is meowing, like it's looking for its companion and feels sorry for the little guy. That's when she accidentally records something terrifying. The head of a shadow figure peeks out from the foot of her bed just before her Snapchat ends. Her only remaining cat is all white, so that's not it, and nobody else is in the house with her. 
The size of this shadow figure's head looks small, more like an animal than a person. So maybe this was the cat she recently lost, which happens to be a black cat by the way. To me, it looks like it wants to climb into bed with her, just like it always has. And perhaps the other cat was meowing, not out of loneliness, but because its friend is back again. Seeing how she claims to have felt watched all week, I'd say it's a strong possibility. This one's a little difficult to see, but when you do, the payoff is worth it. A YouTuber named Past is exploring an abandoned property in Nottingham. Pay attention to the very last window during this clip. Even then, I doubt you'll see it. Now here it is again, with the paranormal sighting highlighted. Something very large appears to move quickly in the very last window. However, this window leads outside and is two floors from the ground. With this in mind, what could this moving object be? All right, just like a quick check in. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, it's doing it. A TikTok video made by Kristen Parham has people wondering if she needs to call an exorcist or an electrician. I'm not making this up, I'm not making this up. They're flickering, they're flickering again. Some of the lights look brighter and flicker. It could be loose light bulbs rather than the spirit world. But the weird thing is sometimes they do this, sometimes they don't. If you are an electrician, then let us know in your professional opinion whether she's being dramatic or if the worst is yet to come. Midlothian Scotland is no stranger to witches. Salem was bizarre enough, but the great Scottish witch hunt was on a whole other level. This drone video sure seems to suggest that witches continue to walk among us, or at least they walk in quiet fields within our vicinity. That's what this alleged witch was doing when captured on video by a drone. The woman dressed in a red skirt, black top, and with long, lanky, black, maybe gray hair, is first seen standing quite still in the field, the video then shows her turning around, swaying slightly, her face quite pale. She seems to be dancing or performing some ritual as she raises her hands in the air and then places a foot forward. Is this a real life witch? If not, what in the world is she doing? The Crazy Red Show uploaded an odd sky setting over the Hawaiian island of Maui that I think needs more coverage and further analysis. I'm filming that, bruh. I'm telling you, rather right there. Holy Lights in the sky have assembled into a strange formation that does not get closer or farther away, simply hovers without a sound. Looking back, the Crazy Red Show says he still has no idea what these lights were, describing the unexplained event as a surreal moment that, if he had to guess, might be a triangulating satellite system being launched. I admit, I don't have much of an idea of what a satellite system looks like, but I would assume getting launched involves movement of some kind. Like I said, these unexplained lights in the sky seem stationary and make for a strange sighting caught on tape indeed. Tell me if you think this is something made by us, because a lot of people think this could be video evidence of visitors from someplace far beyond our world. I personally think it could be flares from a government drill, but it's too hard to say. This ladder is walking down the driveway. No one's touching it. No one's around it. And it's actually walking down the driveway. That's the reaction of Tony Dode as he videotapes a walking ladder on its own. The ladder clatters down the driveway as if someone is guiding it in short steps, but nobody is near. If you have any possible explanations for this, or have seen this before with your own eyes, then please share your experience. If no one has a proper explanation, then this is one of the most perplexing videos I think I've analyzed on this channel to date. Smoke wafted through the Yellow Line train on January 12, 2015. While it filled the train, commuters waited over 35 minutes for help to escape. The cause is believed to have been an electrical issue in the tunnel. When the issue occurred, it forced commuters on the platform to evacuate. That's when train 302 pulled towards the platform and took off again. 
but it was so thick the train operator was blinded. He pulled to a stop in the tunnel. The train's fans were pulling smoke inside, and firefighters were only dispatched when they received a 911 call about seven minutes later. Meanwhile, the passengers on the train could barely breathe, and many got down on the floor. In the raw video of the train, you can see just how bad it is inside the wagon, and you can hear people cough, while most lie or squat on the floor. Over the intercom, they are told to remain calm and not to open the doors. Some called 911 to describe where the train was located so that rescuers could be sent down. Out of the 380 people who were evacuated from the train, 86 were treated, 9 were treated outside the station, and 1 passed away. There's a face in the wall. Can you see it? <laughs> The eyes are wide and black, and the face is a little more than a tiny frown. Then, after one minute and five seconds, I think I see a hand appear. They say it looks like the face of a girl, but the youngest daughter swears up and down that she had nothing to do with it. She wasn't there last She never went. She never went, no. And when, just for fun, they ask the face on the wall if it is the spirit of someone young or old, they get a weird response. So is this really a spirit, or just an imprint left behind of a child who stuck their face against a dirty wall? Ghost Hunters, Bro Sham, and iStudio team up for one of the scariest paranormal explorations in Indonesia. This time they're exploring a haunted hospital that gives them chills, literally. So di depan saya... He senses a drop in temperature. The camera goes out of focus. A shadow stretches out to him and then goes away. When he looks over, it's nowhere to be found. They spend a long time exploring the courtyard for more paranormal activity, but get no further signs. Inside, the hospital is being taken back by the rainforest one room at a time, but plenty of the place remains haunted. The voice is coming from a room that has a drawing of a witch-like head on the wall. There's no other drawings anywhere else in the hospital. Just here. Whatever drew this knew what was in here. As they leave this haunted place, they find this figure upright in the forest, face and body wrapped up in a single cloth, not making a single sound. I don't know if it's a ghost or one of them pretending to be a spirit, but it's creepy and they get out of there without getting any closer. Giant moving vat is supposed to pour molten steel into a receiving chamber where it can be cooled and molded. This receiving must already be full though, because the red hot liquid quickly boils over and the intense heat causes a huge chain reaction. Liquid steel now blankets the floor as the vat continues to do its automated job, sending more of the lava-like substance spraying everywhere. At 5 minutes and 40 seconds, you can see two scared factory workers emerge from their hiding spot around the corner, where they must have been the entire time. They are extremely lucky to be alive. One whiff of the toxic steam would be enough to singe their lungs. Num this resident office ghost is unusually helpful. Posted to the Paranormal Evidence subreddit by Nice Socks Dude, the ghost here opens file and cabinet drawers so that you don't have to. In the video, the bottom drawer of the cabinet slowly opens. When the cameraman pushes it closed, the upper drawer then slowly slides forward. Push closed again. Both drawers slide open on their own. The cameraman pushes them closed again, but they both again open, one after the other. Some of the comments think the load is too heavy. 
they might be spring-loaded or off-balance, or the entire building's foundation has sunk, but at least one Redditor agrees that it's a ghost. Do you think this office is haunted? If that's the case, at least this ghost is helpful. This video was recovered from a cell phone, left behind by a hotel guest who is in an extra hurry to leave for some reason. He's taking a random video when some chilling moments are caught in his hotel room. Just me and Aunt Trav a dark shadow passes in front of him without a sound the way he was talking out loud to himself makes it sound like he was talking to himself when the mysterious figure makes him gasp out loud and drop the phone this situation wouldn't be too hard to fake all you'd need is someone to walk in front of you and act scared, so it might not be real, but if this footage was really found by the next guest, like the description claims, then that's beyond creepy. Is your child seeing things, or is there something to her visions? Posted by Colin71514 to the Chills Narrator subreddit, this story and subsequent video will send chills down your spine. The Redditor explains that her story begins in December of 2018. The couple had bought their four and a half year old daughter a secondhand baby doll. Things were pretty normal until they weren't. After about two weeks, Colin's daughter started breaking things for no reason. Thinking it was just a phase, the parents didn't worry too much about it. The daughter then started wanting to sleep in their room, saying a little girl kept waking her up at three in the morning. This went on for two months until her father got an uneasy feeling about the doll and decided to throw it in a dumpster far away. This brings us to the video in question. The daughter is seen in the room playing on her table on the bed. She moves off the bed shouting for her dad, then looks up at the window beyond and starts to scream. The Redditor says her daughter claims she saw an old woman in the window. Exterior cameras didn't capture anything near their home. Considering the Redditor herself and her husband experience odd things in this home as well, perhaps this is more than just a child's imagination. This dirt road has its own security guard. Published by Scary and Mysterious Stuff in February of 2021, a team faces off with a mysterious figure on a deserted road. As they drive in the middle of the night, wolves are howling all around. The atmosphere is unsettling. As they turn a corner and head down a hill, a figure in a black robe is captured up ahead in the headlights. Wearing a hood that blocks their face, the figure starts to slowly walk toward the vehicle, which backs up in response. The figure continues to approach the vehicle even after it's reversed far enough to not be a threat. While many in the comments are saying the figure was likely not a ghost, since it casts a shadow, others are calling the footage scary and dangerous regardless. If not a ghost, who is this person and what do they want? Have you ever been afraid of your own shadow? What if you know the animated shadow you're seeing is not yours at all? YouTuber Average American 2019 caught the shadow person on video in August of 2018. As he's descending the stairs of this building, a distinctive shadow is seen on the wall, passing in the opposite direction. Then as they descend a further stairwell, a second shadow person appears again. The man recording the footage notices the shadow person in real time. Luckily, he is with friends, so he can simply laugh off the incident. I'm guessing he'd feel differently if he was alone in this encounter. In paranormal lore, shadow people are considered by many to be masses of living humanoid figures. Paranormalists believe they are the presence of a spirit or other entity. While some think shadow people are creatures of evil intent, others consider them neutral or even helpful extra-dimensional beings. Whatever you think they are, this video will surely make you afraid of the dark. The roads in Guwahati, India are apparently haunted. Just ask Avinash Kishore, aka The Mind Hunter. He pulls up behind a vehicle with an extreme background story that I'll get into in just a second. First, try to translate what he says about this truck, and then I'll tell you what I was able to research. Guys, Okay, 
okay, so get this. I did some deep digging and found out that this truck is actually the only hearse service offered in the area before this company came to be. People used to carry the departed to the nearest graveyard as an extra bonus. On this blog post, I found information on three extremely creepy but also saddening comments requesting the service as soon as possible. That means within this metal container could be someone passed away. So when he finds not one, but two of these vehicles lined up in the middle of nowhere, he knows that something really bad must have happened and he better not stick around for long. Long. Unfortunately for him, the time to leave safely has already passed. <laughs> The mind hunter's assistant gets scared and drives off, but the mind hunter will have none of it and makes him return. There is another brief sighting until the figure fades away into darkness. This alleged ghost sighting caught on video could simply be a third member of the group, but since it happens not far from where they found the abandoned vehicles that could have had passed away people inside, it could be real. Two school custodians are standing in the middle of a creepy old boiler room. One of them is the supervisor, and he was called in after his co-worker said that she saw objects moving around on their own. He records the situation for legal workplace reasons, and the two of them reluctantly investigate. Alright, hang on, hang on, just wait. I don't want to go back here. Let me just take a look. Now, you say what happened now? The door shit by itself. Itself, Dave. Alright. The supervisor doesn't see anything out of the ordinary, and he reassures his co-worker that everything is okay. He encourages her to go deeper into the boiler room and get something that she needs, and that's when things go wrong. Is there anybody back here? Go ahead. No. Ah! A metallic chair scrapes towards them on its own, and they both fall back. I guess the supervisor could have pulled on a string, but I think the chair moves a farther distance than he would have been able to pull judging from where he was standing. A group of ghost hunters called PXTV go deep in the Woomwell Woods, a haunted forest in the UK where many people sadly go to take their lives. They split up to cover maximum ground and one of them, Steve, finds a spot he deems suitable to begin an EVP session, which stands for Electronic Voice Phenomenon. He sets up his EVP box and asks any spirits nearby to make a light go on. When it does, he asks for two lights, but gets this verbal warning instead. Can you make two lights light up? Ovilus has just said run. But something descends upon Steve before he gets a chance to do as told. <sighs> I didn't exactly see anything, but Steve says that he was pushed out of the way by something nearby. And when he looks at his EVP box, the translator displays the word RUN written in all capitals. I'm not sure if there's any way to tamper with these devices and make them say pre-programmed messages or not, but assuming this video really is unaltered, then the evidence is all right there to see. Midlothian Scotland is no stranger to witches. Salem was bizarre enough. But the great Scottish witch hunt was on a whole other level. This drone video sure seems to suggest that witches continue to walk among us. Or at least they walk in quiet fields within our vicinity. That's what this alleged witch was doing when captured on video by a drone. The woman dressed in a red skirt, black top, and with long lanky black maybe gray hair is first seen standing quite still in the field. The video then shows her turning around, swaying slightly, her face quite pale. She seems to be dancing or performing some ritual as she raises her hands in the air and then places a foot forward. Is this a real life witch? 
If not, what in the world is she doing? This scary Reddit video was posted by a user named Naval Court, who says he caught a spirit giving his friend's child a hard time while it's trying to rest. First, the child stands up as if he sees somebody enter, or maybe he's even called over. He slowly looks up at something much taller than him, and as soon as he lays his eyes upon it, he falls with force. He sits off and shakes it off, and then something flies by overhead. He even looks over his shoulder and sees it. Some people think the kid is just acting silly, as children tend to do, and maybe even shaking his head to try and stay awake, but I agree with Naval Court that this is weird and could be a ghost like he thought. This video was submitted to the r slash chills narrator subreddit by sailorgirl06. She writes, I'm a single mom. Last year my son and I were working on his Rube Goldberg machine. I was recording. Second time I aimed the camera toward the dining room. A face appeared on the microwave. It looks a lot like me and we get goosebumps every time we think about it. The face can be seen two seconds from the end on the turquoise microwave in the back. Can you see what she's talking about? I'll slow down the footage here for a second look. Can you see it? If so, then I think this place is haunted. This creepy customer is dressed as the Joker in the middle of May. It looks like he is asking for directions or something, maybe for a bathroom, because the lady keeps pointing to somewhere else in the store. The fictional Joker would never waste his time on such a small score, but this one waits until her back is turned and makes a grab for the tip jar on the counter, which looks full. She comes back at the last second, and he just politely smiles to throw off any suspicions. When she leaves again, he looks around nervously at everywhere but the camera as he shoves the tip jar in his pocket and quickly ducks out. Did you know that man has explored more of Mars and the moon than we've explored the depths of our own oceans? Which leads us to some of the strangest oddities on Earth, including this one, the giant's pyrosome, looking like a large transparent tube slide. A giant's pyrosome is comprised of thousands of identical clones of zooids that form an up to 60 foot hollow cylinder that can be wide enough for a grown man to fit inside. The free-floating tube appears like a ghostly discarded piece of see-through fabric known as sea pickles. Giant pyrosomes are bioluminescent, which means you can see them glowing blue-green in the sea at night. Published to YouTube by Ross Overstreet in June of 2018 and supplemented by footage from Luis Bringas in December of 2014, this giant pyrosome off the southern coast of San Clemente Island will send you off the deep end. These videos show the creature in action, or rather in action as it floats unobtrusively near the seafloor. What would you do if you crossed paths with this oceanic nightmare? Would you be brave enough to swim through? And more importantly, would you make it to the other side? If you like to scrounge for snacks at night, this video will have you second guessing that midnight snack. Posted to Reddit by Better Than Better, the home security footage reveals a dark and seemingly empty kitchen at night. Around 30 seconds in, a man trudges in and opens the fridge to get a snack. While the man is standing at the fridge, drinking something, watch the teddy bear on the kitchen table. It starts moving ever so slightly, bobbing up and down, but that's not all. When the man closes the fridge and turns to leave, the baby walker next to the table does this, confused about whether he saw what he thinks he saw. The man doesn't take his eyes off the baby walker as he leaves the room, but he returns a short time later, his wife by his side, presumably to explain what happened. As he's indicating that the baby walker moved of its own accord, the teddy bear falls over, or rather seems to fly backwards, as the wife jumps out of the room and the man approaches the bear, two of the chairs tucked under the table spring out simultaneously. If that isn't enough to scare you out of your own home, I don't know what is. I believe dealing with an incident like this is something 99% of people couldn't handle. A YouTuber named Maximus and his friends are playing with a Ouija board in the shed. At first, they can't stop goofing around for long enough to take it seriously, but as time goes on, they start to concentrate more on the board and less on making jokes. Are you there? Maybe lift your arms up. Why? Because it... What? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Yo, what? No, that was you. Is that how you? No. They laugh wildly to cover up the mounting tension as they realize a ghost might actually be near. Unlike most of the videos, nothing happens for a long time and the pointer stays completely still. They go back to making sarcastic jokes until another event gives them pause. Are you standing next to Frank Tilton? Are you Frank Tilton? When was he born? Stop playing. Stop. Oh my god, no way. That actually like fell. They are still acting like they don't care very much, but they decide to leave the shed just in case something is watching them. There's something about this video and their excitedly skeptical reactions that seems very genuine to me. Published in April 2017 by Steve Cody, this video allegedly shows a ghost haunting a swimming pool. In the description, Steve writes, I noticed my camera picked up motion around my pool about a week ago. After midnight, I watched the whole video with my wife, and there's a ghost or something floating over the pool. He said it lingered there for several minutes. The video does in fact show a light floating over his dark swimming pool at night. It just hovers in the top right corner of the screen, bouncing back and forth a bit. So what is it? A luminous ghost? A ghost holding something luminous, whatever it is, don't go in the water. Austin Jones is a YouTuber turned pop singer who got into a lot of trouble over his numerous improper online relations with fans under 18. It all started in 2015 when he confessed to frequently asking teenage girls to make dance videos for him. I used to ask fans for twerking videos. It's not something that I'm proud of. It's not something that I think is right. And I shouldn't have done it. The 16-minute apology video goes on to make some clarifications about the rumor. Nothing ever went further than twerking videos. They were never... The confession concludes with Austin Jones claiming to be a better person who has learned from his mistakes. Two years later, however, he was arrested by Chicago police for pretty much the exact same thing, except it was even worse than we all thought. Multiple fans soon came forward and told authorities that Austin Jones had inappropriate interactions with them online. One girl said she made 25 videos for him, eight of which were very mature in nature. Since then, police have searched his computer and charged him with two counts of producing underage materials. The case is still currently underway and the former pop star is confined to his home in the meantime. Unable to use the internet by court order, he has not uploaded in over a year. YouTuber named Jason L is rock climbing with his friend Kevin when they come across a narrow and claustrophobic crevice. Not wanting to get left behind, Jason follows Kevin's lead, but his resolve weakens considerably about midway through. Kinda wishing we didn't come in here, Kevin. I'm pretty terrified. Barely 10 seconds later, Jason takes the worst step of his life. Oh no. Here, give me the... Here. My foot's stuck. My foot's stuck. I'm so serious, I can't move. After some initial panic, he steps out of his shoe and manages to dislodge it. After some effort with both hands, look again and you can see what would have happened if Jason L had tripped and fallen forward. Instead of stepping out of his shoe, it's a sharp drop down a series of spiky rocks that could have easily resulted in shattered bones and an emergency airlift. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Project Bad 720 this Redditor wrote, We moved out of our last house because the activity was getting out of hand. Now it's acting up again. The Redditor also included that they're in West Texas. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. <laughs> There was certainly some discussion about this video in the comments. Creepy Girl Tia wrote, 
sounds like you have brought something that a spirit is attached to that you brought to your new place or the spirit is attached to you and fiery witch burn 333 has a similar sentiment saying the houses aren't haunted you are seek help and the uploader responded saying I actually believe I am being followed, so this makes sense. Do you think that's what's going on here? Let me know in the comments. Paul De Jesus says that he literally quit his security job after witnessing this while on surveillance. First a tire rolls into view, which I guess someone could have done out of frame, but then a backpack falls off a chair. It could have been attached to a string, but the video is too low quality to tell for certain, so I'll leave it up to you. A picture is worth a thousand words, but the only word to describe this one is fear, 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 fear. This photo, at first glance, appears to just be your average selfie, but zoom out and you'll see that the selfie girl isn't the only one in the picture. An apparition appears in the dark hallway behind her, looking very similar to the creepy girl from The Grudge. In a white shirt with long black hair dangling in front of her face, the figure is peering out in all her creepiness at the selfie in progress. Is she a predictor of misery to come? Or maybe Creepy Grudge Girl is just photobombing in the freakiest fashion ever. A YouTuber named Austin Shippy is using the Ouija board with a friend. They apparently make contact, but it's not necessarily the spirit's answers that make this video haunting, but rather the strange sounds that kept coming from the background. It seems like every time they ask a question, something weird happens in the background. Perhaps the weirdest moment of all comes at the very end of the video, when they are ready to leave. Thank you very much for talking to us. Goodbye. There is no reason for the pointer to squeak like that. They are on a smooth surface and are not pushing down hard at all. A TikToker named Sydney Carpenter is convinced that her Snapchat filter is detecting not one, but two nearby faces. I don't think anything on this table or wall looks like a face, so I don't think it's a glitch. She tells it to stick its tongue out if it can hear her, and it does after a moment's hesitation. I don't think it's a coincidence, but watch this part for yourself and tell me. Stick your tongues out if you can see me. Do a bit. Yo, there's two of them. <laughs> Later on, it appears in a totally different place than last time. Like before, the Dalmatian appears to give the answer that yes, it is in fact up to no good. Are you good? Are you bad? She starts speaking to the remaining dog, and upon being asked if it was good, it disappears instantly. Are you good? It disappeared. Which I guess stands for no. There's just way too many strange interactions like this one that makes sense for me to ignore. This eerie video has me doing a double take published by Spot You Like in April of 2008. This scary clip is filmed outside the stunning New York minister. The bells are ringing and the cameraman is taking it all in. He scans the cathedral and then starts walking toward it. A shot later, he is continuing on his way down a narrow shop lane. While the bells continue to sound, shops lie on either side of the street. But watch what happens in the upper window to the left. The cameraman zooms in on the ghostly pale face of a small child looking out the window. The child's eyes are dark and inky, and its face mask-like. As the camera zooms, the child disappears. The uploader notes that the house is called the Bell Fry and was built in the 17th century. Some in the comments claim to have stayed there and say that it has seriously spooky vibes. Is this the thing putting out those vibes? I'd say it's a pretty good chance. Fear Hides Here, published to YouTube in July of 2021, this investigative team encountered something sinister. While investigating in broad daylight, the crew only just enters the creepy abandoned house when a scary loud racket is heard. <laughs> Não nem chegamos aqui, o que foi isso? 
Something is thrown against the wall in another room and sounds like it breaks apart. In one room, the investigators break out an EMF sensor, which starts beeping dramatically when it's held up toward one part of the ceiling. One of the crew boosts another up to the crawl space in the ceiling to see what's triggering the device. It looks like the crawl space was being lived in at one point, as a pair of shoes and a book or pamphlet is up there amongst the suits and garbage. As they realize the book is a diary, banging is heard in the next room. Something is opening and closing the door. <laughs> It looks like the hidden figure doesn't want that diary to be read. The cameraman checks outside, but there's nothing. A short while later, another bang is heard, and that's when the diary spontaneously combusts. Cameraman is holding the diary when a corner of the paper catches fire. He throws it to the ground in surprise. When he picks it back up, a glass breaks in the next room. Causing him to throw it down again. When they gain the courage to pick it up again, another bang is heard, although its source remains unseen. Tinha um Lúcio, te adoro por aqui. Vamos ver. Não, cara. Ô, que que é isso, velho? Puta que pariu. Nossa, mano. As abelhas. Será que é isso? Nossa, mano. They enter another room, clearly afraid of what's going on around them and the entity that they've made angry. Sai da porta, espera ela se esconder um pouco, velho. Ô, que que é isso, cara? Vai ficar caindo aqui, velho. Aqui, ó. Aqui é laje, vem aqui. Aqui é laje. Later, they are simply standing in a room capturing video when a fire lights beneath one crew member's feet unbeknownst to him. Another runs towards him and pulls him away, and the fire goes out on its own. For the grand finale, they enter the main room, and one of the crew appears to see something in a gap in the roof. A scary shadow leaves the gap as something breaks, causing the crew to vacate the premises ASAP. Caraca, fei. What was in that diary? Something incriminating? We'll never know because the spirit doesn't want us to. This creepy farmhouse will have you swearing off abandoned buildings for life. Published by Da Dio's Urban Exploration in April of 2013, the uploader admits to being skeptical to the paranormal, but this incident made him consider opening up to the possibility. Da writes that the house sits about a half a kilometer from a road in Bob Cage, Ontario. The house is isolated with just a barn and an outcrop of other buildings. It appears from a distance to be tightly boarded up, but a back door was wide open. He writes, now it is very possible all the environmental conditions were perfect for this experience. However, wingman Jan happened to be with me on this explore and we are in agreement. There was something more to this. He says the video doesn't really do the reality justice. The sounds were much more magnified, which he describes as like freight trains. He writes, there was the sound of someone else walking. There was the sound of something heavy being dragged across the floor and when exiting it was like being followed out to the threshold of inside and out without further ado let's take a look at the cryptic video
Even the approach to the house's exterior is a bit unnerving. The back door is under an overhanging, which our friends sneak beneath to catch a glimpse of a bunch of knickknacks and garbage littering the ground, including an old sewing machine. The back door is wide open. It's dark inside. They climb the steps to the kitchen area, also disheveled and covered with odds and ends. Once inside, they're stepping over the trash and other items on the floor while scanning the rooms with a flashlight. They enter the living room. Something on a door across the room flies up. It appears to be blown by a breeze. The door then opens and slams shut while our brave Da backs away. Instead of racing out of there, they get closer. The door keeps creaking open and slamming shut again. He finally enters the empty hallway. No one is there. He shines the flashlight upstairs, and just when you think he's going to explore that second level, he hurries the heck out of that house. Probably a smart idea. The house alone is unsettling. I can't imagine what being there in person must have felt like. Although Dad knows some might call him a coward for being afraid, he insists that you had to be there to know what it truly felt like. On the contrary, most people believe in the comments of this video that Dad was brave to stay in this obviously haunted house as long as he did. I'm one of them. A famous actress in Indonesia named Leo Wade went viral when she caught these scary moments on her Instagram story. She and her colleagues are all together when Leah sees something that's beyond creepy. <laughs> Looming over them is a strange shadow figure, an apparition they've never seen. It looks good at first, but here's why I have some doubts about this supposedly real ghost sighting video. The way the apparition is perched perfectly above them makes me think they were generating hype for a movie. The fact that she's an actress makes viral marketing all the more viable of an explanation. They are acting pretty scared and the video is creepy. But keep in mind that they are professionals who get paid to act scared. So doing something like this probably wouldn't be too hard. Even though I'm on the fence with this one, it's still chilling to think about. And as far as a viral video goes, I guess it works well because it certainly got my attention. Do you think it's real or fake? While exploring the fairy plantation in Virginia, disturbing paranormal evidence was captured by Redditor WTCW Paranormal, who runs a YouTube channel of the same name. First, the team captured some audio evidence using a paranormal device. Where are you from? Oh. It sounds like there's evil present. Then, as they continue exploring, audible footsteps are heard. Later, when they're using dousing rods to communicate with the spirits, something off-screen communicates louder. <laughs> to me, the noises add credence to the first message the guys received. They are in the fiery depths below, and they may just be trapped there. A YouTuber named Fazi Kidanaya of Pakistan has caught some creepy things on tape while exploring a haunted building that used to be a school. It doesn't take very long for the scary stuff to begin. His ghost meter detects a presence in this room shortly before the paranormal activity ramps up a lot and a window slams shut on its own. <laughs> Why are you not understanding this?
A final loud crash sends him running out of the building to see what's making all of the noise. All he finds is a stray cat outside, which he suspects is a shape-shifting gin because no cat would walk towards all that commotion. I'm not so sure about all that, but I do think it's strange how this classroom is the only place where weird haunted things get caught on camera. Exploring the rest of the haunted school reveals no other paranormal activity, just whatever's by this window. A YouTuber named Lawrence Ryan takes off his shirt and throws it over a shelf. A while later, he returns to the area and now finds the discarded piece of laundry has somehow shifted into a face. This shift continues before his very eyes, until Lawrence grabs a camera to document the paranormal event. The shirt takes the appearance of a grinning demonic face who is looking down into the left. If you don't see it yet, you soon will. The transformation is not yet fully complete. The camera goes out of focus very briefly as Lawrence struggles to zoom in while walking closer. And when the camera corrects itself and comes back into play, the face is changed again. Pause at 1 minute and 47 seconds into the video and you will see it now has a very deep ceased brow, a sharp angular nose, and a strange expression that looks like a cross between a frown and a smirk. I really don't see how any of this is possible, but then again if it's fake, then I don't know how they did it either. The shirt is hanging from a shelf and should not hold any form at all. If they tried to somehow fold it into the shape of a face, I don't think it would stay like that for long. A YouTuber named Nerdy Weasel goes exploring an abandoned house in his neighborhood with a ghost meter to see if it's really as haunted as people say. His first piece of paranormal evidence occurs while entering the old building when the ghost meter goes off by itself. Here, okay. As he and his friend look around, a paranormal feeling fills them both with a fearful uncertainty, followed by this scary moment. Bro, I don't feel safe right now, bro. I feel shit everywhere. Yo. Yo, I'm not tripping. There's somebody right there. I'm not tripping. There was somebody right there. You can even check the camera back. He thinks he's caught a ghost on camera, and even though his camera fails to capture it, I still believe this video because the ghost meter beeps as soon as he starts talking about seeing a creepy figure. Yo, I'm not tripping. There's somebody right there. I'm not tripping. There was somebody right there. You can even check the camera back. And also at 2 minutes and 30 seconds, if you look closely, a ghost orb floats by the doorway where he says the figure is. They get really freaked out and climb back through the window when the ghost makes an object fall from somewhere inside of the haunted house. <laughs> They run back to the sidewalk and they laugh at the paranormal encounter through a fence, making the mistake of thinking they're safe. We're here at the... Good boy, nerd movies. We're here at the plantation club draft house. Just when they thought they'd gotten away, the ghost meter is pounded with paranormal energy and goes off like never before. It's not electronic interference either because the paranormal equipment had been relatively quiet until this scary moment. They try and dodge the ghost by walking fast down the block, but there's no outrunning the paranormal. Finally, it seems to leave them alone until about a block later when Nerdy Weasel feels a mysterious presence wash over them once more. Yeah. Oh, someone walking behind us. Chill. Yeah. First, he says he feels watched by an apparition, and then the ghost meter goes off. If it was the other way around, I'd be skeptical, but this sequence of events seems like they've really offended a spirit that is going to follow them for a long time. It looks like exploring this abandoned house has gone wrong for them in the worst possible way. Have you ever watched a clip that terrified you so much that you just had to share it with a friend? That's definitely the case for this video, posted to YouTube by Mysterious Things in February of 2020. The footage purports to show an unknown flying object flying in broad daylight above Quebec City. From far away, the figure in the sky appears to be dressed in white and launching upward. 
Upon closer unfocused and wavering inspection, the unknown flying object does indeed look like a human figure dressed in white. At times its clothing shines luminescent while the figure spins launching into the sky. When the camera gets in closer and more focused, the figure looks even more dramatic. It appears to be on fire. If that's not in fact Iron Man, as YouTuber Graham Sherwood suggests in the comments, perhaps it could be a meteor headed towards Earth. While other commenters say this is impressive, it looks legit. YouTuber Damian Torres is more skeptical, suggesting it looks like silver helium balloons with the sun reflecting off of it. What do you think? Is this just a mistaken balloon? Or do you think this unknown flying object is worthy of some supernatural speculation? Whatever it is, it's terrifying. Facebook stalking is not uncommon. What happens when cyber stalking is taken to the next level? Christian Pratt knows. A college classmate at the University of Central Florida messaged her on Facebook. On the other side, Patrick Michonne, a cyber stalker that would soon become obsessed with her and likely scar her for life. At first, the contact seemed normal. He wanted to know what she was up to, how life and work was going. But after she replied, things soon took a turn. Patrick started messaging Pratt relentlessly on Twitter and Facebook, including one tweet that said, It is up to you now to save your life. I have no options. He called her 40 times in the span of five hours at one point. He made 27 videos about her that were thought to be lost. You don't want me for a life, Kristen Pratt? That's a very, very unwise decision. This obsession was torment to Pratt, and she did what she could to stop it. She changed her phone number, but he somehow found it and continued to harass her. She even tried to alter her appearance, but nothing worked. Short of reporting Patrick to the police, which she finally did, he was arrested and sentenced to four years behind bars, a much shorter sentence than Pratt received. She's been given a life sentence of fear and paranoia. She says she is constantly looking over her shoulder. Buckle your seatbelts. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. This video is apparently forbidden in most countries, and it's clear why. The footage shows two lit up objects in the sky. They're both moving slightly, with one of them moving a bit faster than the other and in different directions. The lights blink as the unidentified flying device on the bottom moves up towards the one above it. Suddenly they fuse and it sends a shockwave through the sky, like a bolt of lightning. What in the heck just happened here? <laughs> The uploader stumbled across the freaky forbidden video in the summer of 2018. Some think it's most likely a clip from an indie movie. Redditor the lovely Raven 313 points out, if this actually happened, the media would be on it. Many agree with this sentiment. Well, some are willing to suspend their disbelief when asked what it is. The Redditor admits he doesn't know. That's why I'm posting this to try and solve the mystery, he writes. Can you solve the mystery? I'm at a loss here. On 3830 McMahon Road sits a lone white house which at first glance looks rather unassuming but is actually a source of otherworldly evil, a place so foul that not even two separate exorcisms could fully cleanse its walls. Over 800 Native Americans are said to have lost their lives in the surrounding hills against federal forces, many of whom are thought to be buried under the Hinsdale House, fueling its foundations with anger. And that's just the beginning. Sometime in the 1800s, two outlaw brothers used this New York property as their sick trophy room. They would go after stagecoaches and left behind no witnesses. The bodies were mostly kept in the attic or left in the basement without a care. Outside, more lives were taken over the years at a pond and also at an old tree at just the right height for a rope, which was later struck by lightning. Nowadays, the heavily haunted Hinsdale House has become a location for ghost hunters like John and Amanda of Elevated Vlogs to explore whatever secrets lie within. John and Amanda are amateur ghost hunters without much paranormal experience, so their reactions are about as raw as it gets. 
Their night begins with a tour from the house's current owner, a man named Daniel Clays, who spared this house from getting demolished in 2015. He seems to have formed a truce with the spirits in return for saving them. The way he talks about his experiences, the more activity their camera catches around him. There's definitely something that's sinister, maybe darker, that comes out once in a while. But you, your best thing is to just ignore it and move on and go do something else. We were just standing in the kitchen and we had a camera on ourselves and, and uh, they were talking about the exorcism this, exorcism that. And Daniel leaves them to explore the house on their own. We'll just kind of do a little explore before we sit down anywhere. And... Did you hear that? They also hear this noise, the sound someone makes with a hand over their mouth. But he said he has experienced somewhat of a something dark here. Experience, experience. They enter the room of Mary Dandy, the youngest daughter of a family who lived here during the 1970s, and find bugs on their backs, legs up, an odd characteristic that the room has become known for. An entity has attached itself here, something foul enough to attract flies and send them lifelessly to the floor without its presence. Or maybe these flies were placed here by Daniel to fool John and Amanda. Either way, the activity only seems to increase ever since standing in Mary's room. I think something runs ahead of them down the stairs into the basement. Maybe the final steps of someone trying to get away during a terrible event. Most people that check this place out will come with a team. Oh yeah, I'll go down first so you can show them this really cool... Did you hear that? What was that? And when they try to communicate with it, a scared little girl's voice comes across the airwaves. Are you okay with us staying here tonight? They decide to head back into Mary's room. Again, their spirit box picks up the same crying girl as before. Are you okay with us being in this room? Can we sit here? And this is the third time they pick up her voice. Definitely the same girl the whole time. Are we safe? She's following them from room to room, and maybe behind her is the sinister force that Daniel warned them to stay away from. They decided to check out the attic before they get too scared. Remember what I said about the attic earlier? Sure enough, John feels a strong hand wrap his arm to pull him forward, followed by a supernatural confirmation from a gruff male voice. Dude, I'm not even playing, man. Did someone touch John's arm? Like, no lie, it felt like there was just something rat like it. <laughs> Dude, that sounded like, yeah. They flee downstairs to regroup and find they can no longer leave. Something's outside. John. Oh my I god. I literally heard something outside. I'm not even messing around. Dude. Did you hear that, dude? No, I know. It sounded like metal ting. I don't hear it, but I do see it. Look again, it's a ghost caught on live stream. And even though I didn't hear it earlier, I do hear chains rattling during this part when they get closer to the door. What's that noise? There's nothing left to do but wait it out in the Hinsdale house. After a night of fitful sleep, they decide to explore the hillside before getting out of there fast. They're still afraid from yesterday's events, but it's their job as paranormal investigators to keep going no matter what. So with their spirit box out, they wander into the woods. Within minutes, they record a voice. I hear three words. I need help. Then they hear a familiar voice, the same one responsible for grabbing John's arm in the attic. We're coming into the darker part of the woods here. Would somebody like to speak with us? Oh. Yep, that was definitely a male voice. And this part is either Amanda's voice edited in, or else somebody is humming a creepy tune right next to John. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The forest is dark and cold. I agree with John that this is a different language. 
We're in the middle of the woods. There's no, there's no uh, electrical display. They come to a part of the woods that's particularly eerie for no reason at all. It's just a feeling they both have. That's when they realize the reason for their fears could not be directly underfoot. Did you die here? The thought of communicating with the other side has always made me uneasy, but speaking with someone while standing on their unmarked grave, as elevated vlogs seem to have done, takes that uneasiness to a whole other level. When you enter a graveyard, you may not leave alone. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Scream Gaming writes, This was caught in a cemetery when we were leaving. All four of us got chills at the time, and it felt like something left with us. In the short clip, the group is heading out of the driveway of the cemetery. When you see a figure on the side of the road, according to the Redditor, they caught this creepy thing on video where in reality there was nothing, just grass and a telephone pole. Do you see it? Redditor Treadway 0311 does writing. There definitely was something there and then gone. But what was it? And where did it go? It's midnight when a YouTuber named Porter decides to go exploring some abandoned places near his house in hopes of capturing something scary on video. He and his friends have gone exploring these places in the past, and nothing's wrong before. But exploring abandoned places can always go wrong at a moment's notice, as he and his crew are about to discover. This urban exploration video is never meant to be a paranormal investigation, but soon they come across a tunnel that looks like it could be haunted. As they are exploring the tunnel, they come across a barrel that's been eaten away by corrosive chemicals. Large holes mark where a mysterious substance leaked out, and the old yellow caution tape they've caught on camera is a frightening moment to say the least. They should probably get out of there fast because, aside from being creepy and maybe haunted, the tunnel air is almost certainly not safe to breathe at least not with this barrel around. They instead keep exploring until a cave-in doesn't allow them to go any further. They finally leave because the section they're in could collapse too, each of them passing by the mysterious barrel one more time on the way out. They wander through the scary woods for a while and eventually come across another eerie passageway that Porter decides not to explore because they're still creeped out about being too close to a possibly radioactive barrel or whatever that was. They should have gone back by now, but they've come all the way here to go exploring an abandoned building and apparently not enough has gone wrong to make them stop we're gonna check out the other building for a little bit that's it they approach the building but something else grabs their attention a mysterious hole in the ground no we've already seen that like during the day no it's oh no i did not see that <coughs> <coughs> As they peer inside, all they find is more yellow caution tape and a putrid stench that makes them feel nauseous. They aren't sure what this place is, but it's clear to me that this opening was once covered by a manhole. This is an abandoned sewer pipe that's filled with toxic fumes from bacteria and industrial waste. They aren't feeling too good, but the building is right there, so they decide to take a quick peek. It's beyond creepy inside, and they are inching towards the back when this happens. Huh? Let's go. A scary voice whispers at them in the darkness and the urban exploration comes to an end. Later, they try not to get caught making a video at the hospital. You can tell it's real because there's hospital equipment beeping and nurses talking in the background. We had to um, come to the ER for Braden. Um, actually got in the car and recorded for a little bit on the way home. Um, he started to get a lot of pain, like near his heart, so. His friend is okay, but they aren't sure if it was from breathing chemicals or a ghost. And this video has gone about as wrong as it gets. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me? A YouTuber named Frollo Moto is dirt biking in a random field with his friend Trevor when they see trouble ahead. We gotta go! There's a truck here. A black truck attempts to cut them off at the pass when they try to escape. Clearly, the driver wants to get them off their bikes however he can and doesn't seem to care if they break a bone or lose their life. 
They both cut through some fields and eventually get back to the main road, quickly agreeing at a stop sign that they should head straight home. But then, just when they think they are safe... He's chasing us! Take the trail! Take the snowmobile trail! The truck spots them again and the chase is back on. Frollo, Moto, and Trevor head full speed towards a narrow plot of land meant for snowmobiles. When he looks over his shoulder, he sees the truck is too large to squeeze through. They are safe for now, but hopefully the driver doesn't get out and follow their tire trails because it basically leads straight to their home. If insects aren't your thing, then this entry will highly test your bravery. This footage is of an insect swarm at the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa. The uploader writes, During our family holiday in 1996 or 7, we had parked the car and gone for a short walk up the cliffs. When we came back, we found that our car had become a hot spot for these giant wood lice, sea slaters. The clip shows piles upon piles of wood lice crawling around the car tires. An absolutely terrifying sea of insects, all coalescing beneath the vehicle. As the uploader says, probably attracted to its cozy comfiness. After seeing this, would you be brave enough to climb back in and leave? I thought not. This clip reveals an underground entrance in Saudi Arabia. It was originally posted to YouTube by Bismax TV in August of 2019. According to the video description, the underground is claimed to be haunted. It certainly sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying screams are heard coming from the depths of what looks like a bunker, or maybe even a well. There's a ladder leading down into a hole deep within the earth. The sacred text is being read, while screeching continues in the background. <laughs> As the tormented screams continue, so does the sacred text reading. But what we don't know is why, and what is going on in this underground bunker. Some in the comments say this is one of the scariest things they've ever heard. Others say it's definitely not fake and the latter perhaps leads to a secret torment chamber. YouTuber Psychic Afro Dancer offers up two interesting theories. One suggests that it's a red fox in heat. If you've ever heard audio from any animal in heat, you might consider this a valid theory. But the second theory is more appealing to those of us with paranormal leanings. It involves the belief in jinn. Jinn are spirits, demons, or supernatural creatures that appear in Islamic mythology and theology. Jinn are creatures similar to humans, thus they are neither inherently evil or inherently good, and the word jinn is derived from the terms to conceal or to hide. You can see it's not a stretch that some suggest jinn means beings that are concealed from the senses. It's believed that jinn originated as animal shape-shifting malevolent spirits found in unclean places, deserts, and dingy dark desolate locations. Those who believe often try to protect themselves from jinn. Could this be jinn, unredeemed, tormented in a scary hole? All I know is I wouldn't be going down there to check. <laughs> YouTuber Trevor Heasley published this clip in August of 2016. The footage was on the set of Postcards, a 2008 Pasadena City College student film. He'd taken it during the film shoot at the Metropolitan State Mental Hospital. Although the cast and crew heard a lot of ruckus during filming, they didn't see anything unusual. That is, until Trevor got his camera home and watched the footage back. The abandoned state mental hospital appears quite eerie in the footage, darkened windows on a hot summer day. The footage involves lots of close-ups and long shots of the area, including some gags with the cast. Everyone seems to be having a good time on the shoot, but will what happened next haunt them? During the shoot of one scene, the vapor-thin figure of a ghost appears to be walking across the hallway right before two of the cast. <laughs> apparently completely unaware of what just crossed their path, come running through. Okay, so it probably won't haunt them, being as they weren't even aware of what was happening before their own very eyes. That is, unless the spirit somehow inhabited one of them. I think we need a follow-up with the cast and crew of Postcards, and maybe then we can solve this scary mystery. 
a YouTuber named Audrey and Liz is excited to recreate a science experiment. She learned that if you soak a dollar bill in isopropyl and light it on fire, it won't cause any damage. The, I'm gonna dip the dollar. Everything is going according to plan, but then she messes up by holding the bill over the open container, catching it on fire. She tries to pour water into the container to extinguish the flames, but when that doesn't work, she makes the biggest mistake of all. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Oh my God! Panicking, Audrey flips over the flaming liquid and sets her entire table on fire. She turns off the camera so we don't get to see exactly how this situation was solved. Obviously, she managed to escape with her life and later uploads the video onto YouTube. But if any of the liquid got on her clothes or hair, it could easily be an entirely different story. The Three Haunted Explorers is the name of a paranormal YouTube channel that doesn't need to go exploring very far to find something spooky. That's because a scary ghost is already haunting their room, or so they claim. And this is the best paranormal evidence they've caught on camera so far. They set up a night vision camera. Soon they've caught the ghost moving stuff like cabinet drawers. Part of the drawers aren't shown, so the ghost hunters might be moving it off camera. But just when I was starting to doubt whether this scary video was real, more objects begin moving on their own. On a table behind them, caught on camera is the reflection of a possible ghost moving across the surface. They put everything back in place and wait. That's when the ghost knocks all of the objects over once again by moving a chair. The swivel chair continues to move on its own as if a ghost is pushing it. At 33 seconds, a mysterious shadow even walks in front of the camera. A ghost. The paranormal explorers would later say, although it could have belonged to them, Stuck keeps falling over by itself, which is creepy, but they could be crawling across the floor to fake the paranormal activity. I hope they make more creepy follow-up videos from a better angle to show us more of the room when it happens. A YouTuber named Sans the Skeleton 101 thinks he may have seen a monster lurking in his yard. The out of focus object looks like it could be a creature on all fours, but I'm just not sure. It doesn't really seem to be moving and could just easily be a pile of dirt. Whatever it is, it sends Sans the Skeleton 101 running back into his house in terror. Let me know what you think it was and if you think he was really in any significant danger at the time. After setting up a camera in her home, YouTuber Kathy Nito turns out the light, and what comes after just might be a ghost. Watch for the white thing once Kathy is distracted. Do you see that? Kathy believes this is a ghost, well I don't think it's a bug, as it appears to be too large and chaotic to be an insect. I'm not sure if my first thought would jump to the paranormal, it looks more like a spider web or some other flying debris to me. Still whatever it is, it's creepy. Do you have any ideas as to what this could be? There's nothing more disturbing than the sound of an unexpected and unknown siren. What could possibly be impending? A tornado tearing through the town? What are we being warned about? Posted by Epic Memer Boy 0123 to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the uploader writes that he started to hear sirens randomly midday. In the clip, the sirens sound quite high pitched, almost like a car horn beeping long and restlessly. Several in the comments suggest it's a test siren of some kind, either for tornado warnings or other emergencies. The Redditor clarifies that it lasted for around 10 to 15 minutes. Superman Connor writes, That definitely sounds too long to be a tornado siren then. When the Redditor mentions that a friend said it was an air raid siren, Superman responds those only last about 30 seconds. It seems the Redditor isn't the only one suffering from unknown siren syndrome.
the Wastelander 96 writes, something similar happened near here a couple nights ago when the sirens just went off for like 10 to 15 minutes and then just stopped. Perhaps it is an emergency siren that they are testing, but for a different kind of emergency, wonder what that could be. This clip was posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Scream Aim and Fire. When you're home alone and you start catching things moving out of the corner of your eye, you may begin to wonder whether you're really alone after all. Scream explains that, days before, she had noticed a bell hanging from the ceiling move slightly, but there was no breeze, and nothing else hanging in the room was moving. Thereafter, when she was home alone, she started to hear things, like people pacing the hallways. She turned on her camera after hearing something fall in the home, as she was determined to go and investigate. The Redditor notes that later, after re-watching the video, a couple orbs flew by. Even scarier, she writes, I think I saw my mother-in-law's doll move too. Watch the video closely, and you'll see exactly what she's talking about. As she walks into her mother-in-law's room, the doll sitting on a chair against the back wall does appear to move its head ever so slightly. While the orbs captured throughout the video could very well be dust, it's hard to explain the doll's inexplicable movement. Does the Redditor have a Chucky situation on her hands? If so, she'd better flee before the gloves come off. A YouTuber named Darren's Northern Life is doing some last minute hunting at the end of the season. He sees a parked truck early on and knows that other hunters must be around, which means everybody should be extra careful. A short while later, he finds himself in one of the worst situations a hunter could ever possibly imagine. Oh my goodness, that bullet just came over my head. Darren hears the shot whiz by his head and scrambles for cover behind some trees. The other hunters still haven't noticed they are firing on another person and seem to be out of shouting range. This guy's gonna f***ing kill me. Darren scrambles to safety and can't even believe what just happened. Later, he goes back to the truck and records their license plate. They just so happen to be coming back as well. Take pictures of the license plate. Is something wrong? Everything all right? Uh, somebody shot at me. They claim it was a different person and not anyone in their party. Without any concrete evidence, I don't think there is much Darren can legally do besides upload the video and make the event public. Let me know if you think he has enough evidence to press charges based on what you've seen. YouTuber Memoria Sovereign Natural INC believes they were guided to this location by something paranormal. And maybe that's true, but it doesn't seem to want to let him in. <laughs> Opa! Cara, que que é isso, mano? Cara, que que é isso? At first, it seems like something might just be pushed up against the door blocking it. But then you see movement. Watch the crack in the doorway. Olha isso, cara. Ah, dá uma olhada. Whatever's inside doesn't seem human. Você é louco? Eu juro que eu achei que eu tinha visto um demônio aqui agora, na hora que eu fui abrir a porta. Cara, meu coração foi a mil aqui, ó. Bom, pessoal, eu acho que... Phew, it's just a ball, or is it? I think this horned beast is more demon than it appears. Some videos have the power to keep us up all night long. As we're drifting off to sleep, they enter into our subconscious, making us sit bolt upright. The fear is real. The fright. This was posted to Reddit with the uploader writing, My friend is security at the airport, and he saw this through the security cameras. The video shows an American Airlines desk with what appears to be a service door beside it. The airport looks empty. Perhaps the security footage was taken during closing hours. But if it's empty, what makes the door do this? The door swings open aggressively with no one behind it. 
These types of doors are usually heavy and secure, and as Astrocath explains in the comments, are often locked or require a manual code to open, so it's unclear how wind or something natural might have burst the door open like this. So what could it be? Theories in the comments range from a ghost running late for a flight to unequal air pressure. Redditor Steve Mage God points out that there's a slight shadow changed before the door flings open. So as usually happens, we've got those who think this is paranormal activity on one side and the skeptics who suggest this could be readily explained on the other. Which side are you on? This unexplained shadow was uploaded by a paranormal ghost hunter named K. Owen. I think it could just be a fast moving insect, especially since this was recorded on a summer night in the south, but according to Kay, this is the spirit of a poltergeist in Kentucky who eventually went on to become quite destructive. If Kay's story is to be believed, then this unexplained shadow is the spirit of a person who took a woman's life in this camper years ago. The deranged paranormal entity would eventually go on to destroy the camper by burning it down just two weeks into the paranormal investigation. Most of the time security cameras capture hours and hours of useless footage. Sometimes however they capture something like this. Published in September of 2013, YouTuber Rainy Schooler writes, A woman walks out of the darkness on a cold and wet night in the mountains far from a busy road and no immediate neighbors. The security camera is aimed into the wilderness and you can see a tree to the right side of the screen but nothing else. That is until, right in the middle of the shot, the figure appears, walks and stops and turns awkwardly not turning with her feet but just twisting with her upper body. Then she walks forward again before taking a sharp right turn and veering out of sight. The video moves forward about 45 seconds until the woman is seen winding around the tree and then is spotted back in the middle again, looking off into the wilderness, moving in the same strange start-stop fashion that she was doing before. A different security camera captures the woman walking up towards the house. Out of sight, it's not clear what she did alongside of the home, but she is soon seen again walking haphazardly away and around the same area near the tree in the back. She did this for 10 minutes, the video notes. Many in the comments think this woman must have been on something, but in the middle of nowhere, what do you think? I'm just glad they had security cameras so the homeowners were aware of her activities. A YouTube explorer named Adventures with Josh tracks what he later describes as a strange creature sighted while exploring an abandoned house in the middle of some rather scary woods at night. The structure he finds is no bigger than a doghouse and is empty upon investigation, but when he turns around and looks up, he sees it, and it sees him. What is it? That thing is freaky. Hello? A mysterious creature with glowing white eyes stares down without a word. I know it's a creature and not someone wearing night vision goggles because the glowing blank eyes blink multiple times. I can't even tell what animal that is. No, it doesn't look like a possum. A possum was my next guess, but apparently the eyes are too far apart for it to be one. The brow resembles a human more than an animal. I don't know what this strange creature sighting is, but it does seem to be waiting for him to leave, so it can go back to its creepy abandoned home in the middle of the woods. Paranormal activity was recently caught on video by this family in Pakistan, but I'm not sure if this is a poltergeist or just them throwing things around, so help me decide. Most of the objects come from the corner of the screen and could have been easily thrown by someone off camera. I'm not sure how they made the table come back after it was thrown against the wall, but it doesn't look that heavy so maybe it was on a wire. I guess we'll never know for sure.
gear, a booth jumps from 129 feet in the air. If any part of his body had so much as graced the pier, then that would have been the end of a booth. And that's assuming that he could have gotten out of the water in time. Was this Chilean quake natural or extraterrestrial made? Published by Paranormal Planet in April of 2014, seconds before a tremor hit a coastal region of Chile, something was spotted in the sky. The short clip captures the Chilean coast. All is calm as the cameraman scans the landscape. An unidentified aircraft shoots across the sky. A half-speed clip shows the object in more detail. It's tiny and black but has no other discernible features. It's simply moving too fast. After it passes, the earth immediately begins to shake. A girl hanging onto the fence sways back and forth and the cameraman appears to fall to the ground. Many in the comments don't think this was an unidentified flying object, and some don't even think it was a quake. Mary Coday suggests it was a milli jet and it made a sonic boom or broke a sound barrier. Others think it was a bird. Is this real? Or is it all completely staged? We're left with more questions than answers with this one. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button.